All right, welcome back. Let's say hello and happy Friday to Mike Apple. Hello and happy Friday. How are hello. you? Hello. Good morning. Happy Friday. How are you? I'm doing all right. All right. Uh, you've been watching some interesting numbers from some uh, mm -hmm. massive companies this week. Today, we talk about Amazon and a major dip here. I'm kidding. No, massive reports of revenue. What's <laughs> yeah, going right. on? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Everything about Amazon was up and up on the past year, Melanie, because we were all shopping on our computers. And the interesting thing about Amazon's earnings they made $8 billion and saw sales jump 44% to $108 billion. And they do not expect, this company does not expect things to slow down from an e-commerce standpoint. Sure, we're going to go back at some point to browse the malls. But are we really not going to be buying as much stuff on e-commerce? <laughs> Likely not. And, 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 that's, and that's the growth story. Uh, related to this transition in the retail seg sector. Um, Amazon Prime Video also saw sales uh, or, or streaming up numbers up 70%. So, you know, this company uh, is doing uh, some big business, obviously. It's it's Amazon's world and we're retail world, and we're just kind of living in it, I suppose, right now. Uh, the share price up 2% in pre-market action. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, they own everything. Let's talk about Twitter. Um, Seems like it. Interesting. I feel like the interactions there, a lot more people are active on Twitter, or maybe it's mm -hmm. just that they're attached to their phones or they're available, they're by their screens. But this surprises me when it comes to uh, what their numbers are looking like. Well, look, Twitter is coming off its busiest year ever. Uh, you had the U.S. vote, um, and then subsequent to that, uh, the former U.S. president was banned from the platform. And it was a question whether or not they would see a slowing uh, pace of growth. And the numbers are fine. They were up 20% year over year, 199 million users on an active basis or something of that nature. And, and, and it's been about monetization, uh, tying that to advertisers. So there's a little bit of a slowdown expected by Twitter. And uh, interestingly enough, this morning, the share price is down as much as 12%. So that's pretty substantial. But people are still tweeting and commenting, uh, you know, mm -hmm. uh, ad nauseum, it seems like, on, on social media. So it's, it's, uh, it's doing fine. But this morning, a bit of a hiccup. Yeah. All the eggs, though. The eggs. There's a lot of comments coming from the eggs. You know, no pictures and you don't know who they are. <laughs> A lot of that. Yeah, well, that's 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 another issue for another day, I suppose. Absolutely. Okay, it's time to roll that uh, beautiful loony B-roll viz because Let's we're talking about it. the Canadian dollar. Roll it. Here we go. The dollar this morning there at eighty-one and a half cents U.S. Um, the world wants what we produce: uh, copper, base metals, wheat, soy, corn. Um, you know, you name it. It's uh, looking at a very attractive demand forecast for Canadian products, and that helps lift the Canadian dollar and, uh, you know, highest level since early 2018. They're saying it's not a situation where exporters have to worry. It's kind of in a sweet spot right now. So if it doesn't go too much higher, that's good. If it doesn't go too much lower, that's fine, too. Did you see that new shot we added in? The little yeah, shiny one in the beautiful. center? Beautiful. I'm very distracted. Squirrel. Okay, when the what last, else? When was uh, the last time you actually paid with, with a, an money. actual loony? Or right? money. Like, as opposed to just, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's been yeah. some time. Uh, very quickly for you, um, global computer chip shortage. Uh, this continues and it has a massive impact. Yeah, it does. Uh, Ford Motor Company warning that the uh, computer chip shortage is denting its earnings by $2 billion. There are 50 to 150 computer chips needed for every car and truck, Melanie. Think about that for a second. But uh, this problem, it's Ford, it's GM. Toyota has, has weathered the storm to some extent, but uh, Ford's share price yesterday down by 10%. Hey, before I go, I want to uh, pay tribute to our outgoing boss today at 680, Scott Metcalf. I'm wearing a green tie because Mr. Metcalf wears a green tie uh, uh, pretty much every day to signify the green of the 680. Mm -hmm. He is retiring today 40 plus 40 years with Rogers, 45 years in the industry. Awesome. It's best, incredible. Best boss ever. <laughs> Oh, and he's so, he's so kind, guy. too. Great he's guy. so kind. Congratulations thank, to Scott. What a career. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much, Mike, and thank you, Scott, for everything. Have a great weekend. Thank you. You too. All right, coming up next, uh, we say hello to all the parents, students, teachers, doing all that remote learning. Uh, but will you ever be going back to school? A lot of people have that question. We're going to break this down on what it'll take if it does happen coming up next.